Hey there 3D printing people, we're going to see how many printers we can get to run on this Raspberry Pi 4. So my 3D printing lab that I have at work um, is, has a bunch of old printers that aren't used anymore really. Mostly people just use the Prusas. Um, and we have some Fourier Transform infrared spectrometers that are moving in. So we're going to be cleaning this lab up a little bit. And I thought one of the things that we'd try and do is see if we can get all 10 of the printers that I have sitting over here on these couple of benches to run off of Octoprint instances on a single Raspberry Pi 4. Now I know this is possible because I do this on a Linux box already and I've been doing this for about three years. All right, so the Octopi uh, image that I'm using is one that I've developed that contains some scripts called Octoprint Deploy, which makes the possibility for having very fast deployment of multiple instances on a Raspberry Pi. And so I've already in installed this and put this onto the Raspberry Pi, and I'm SSHing into this, and I've opened up the readme.txt, and we're now going to open up the base instance, which is going to establish sort of the basics uh, for all of the instances that we have. So we're going to use a administrative user here. And if you don't mess up putting in the password stuff, we have that. And we do all the anonymous usage tracking and all of these things. Uh, and what this is really doing, and this is setting up our, our base instance. So all of the Octoprint instances that we have are going to have these parameters in common. And so now we're going to go, uh, one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to upload a bunch of files, um, basically one for each of the printer types that I have so that we can start prints directly. And so when we copy everything over, all of these files will already be copied over in the upload directory here. All right, so we're now at this point, I'm going to check one other thing here. I want to make sure that the um, the plate size uh, is turned off because I've got printers of vastly different sizes, but I haven't set up any of the defaults. All right, so we're back into the SSH setup here, and all we're going to do is we're going to run this little script that I have, this Octoprint deploy script, and we're going to go through one printer and then I'll set everything up in double time. But to let you know, uh, setting this up for all 10 of these printers took uh, about 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So this includes me having to walk over and plug in the USB in order to, uh, to get this set up. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm walking over, plugging in the USB for one printer. And it will pop up with the serial number here. And that's what we're using for identifiers. And I know that for all of the printers that I have, they have serial numbers, so they're all going to get identified. And now we're in, in 2x mode here, so we're going a little bit faster. And you'll notice that it does ask if we want to detect USB cameras for these every time we go through. I don't have cameras set up for, for doing this, but if you do have USB cameras that have serial numbers that get reported, you can use that to set up uh, uh, USB cameras directly for any of the instances that you have. Now there are some cases where you run into where a printer does not have a serial number. And one of the options that these scripts do does allow you to have is that you can um, use the current USB port that you have. And if you're using a hub, like I'm using in this case, you have to leave both the hub and the printer plugged into the same position on the uh, Raspberry Pi. And you'll be able to have the printer detected um, 
for each of the instances correctly in the UDEV entries. So that's how that's, this is being done. And we're adding in more here. I think this is the eighth printer that we're setting up right now. one that's getting set up. And the last one, the MMU one. So now, at this point, all of our, all 10 of our Octoprint instances are running on this Raspberry Pi 4. And what we can do is go in and log in to all of these at the different addresses. They're, they're all assigned different ports, so they start with 5001 through 5010 uh, are the different ports that were set up in. And I'm just going through and, and doing that now. And then what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to connect them all and then we will warm them all up just to make sure that that's working and then start prints on them. And one of the things about the way this is set up is that the binary instance of Octoprint is shared by all of these printers. So if you install a plugin on one of these instances, uh, if you restart any of the other plugins, or sorry, any of the other instances, that plugin will be installed on that instance that you restarted. So basically they're shared. So it makes um, having to do updates and things like that really, really fast because you only have to do it once and then restart your instances. So here you'll notice also that the the printers all have specific names, so it's Octo and then the instance name, and so you can always connect up to those and it will it will always remember. In this case I forgot to, to make sure it was connected up to the MMU1, but now you'll see as I tab through here, all of these are connected, they're all displaying temperatures at this point. And now what we can do is warm them up, so I'm going through and warming all of the printers up. PLA. And now I'm just going to start up prints. And again, this is pretty darn fast. This whole process here took uh, about, I think it was 11 minutes from the very start. So about 10 minutes to set everything up and then another couple of minutes. And now prints are running on all of these. We'll take a look. Yes, it's just hanging there because I didn't have a lot of space to work with, but there are five printers into that hub there. We have another five printers plugged into this hub here. And here there's no filament going to this printer. It was having some problems. Uh, there's two printers, three, four, five, there's a number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10, all on one Raspberry Pi simultaneously. <laughs> 